um, <laughs> so what we did is we had to think about the Ozobot and we wanted to think about how we could put it into an early childhood sort of junior primary environment. But I think we sort of changed our thinking a little bit along the way because we discovered that putting the code in with the textures is actually quite tricky mm -hmm. and would be quite difficult for younger kids to do that. So what we thought was going to be really easy possibly for them wasn't. Um, but what we came up with was a story map of the Little Red Riding Hood story um, and we've got the Ozobot um, coded and programmed it to do little things as we tell the story. So perhaps we'll do our demo first. Okay, are we ready? Yep. Okay, so this is the story of Little Red Riding Hood. One sunny day, Red left her mum's house to take a basket of goodies to her sick grandma. It was a beautiful day for a walk in the forest. Red just loved the forest at this time of year. <laughs> her mother warned her to stay on the path and not dilly-dally in the woods. The local woodcutter had reported seeing some dangerous animals lurking in the woods. She decided to take the shortcut path through the woods. Eventually, she came to the babbling brook and stopped to have a look. <laughs> On and on she went. All of a sudden, Red spotted a ferocious wolf spying on her. She got very scared and hurried off to get to Grandma's house. She took the basket of treats into the cottage and saw a suspicious looking Grandma in bed. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with. Oh, Grandma, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with. Oh, Grandma, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with. Red must have eaten a magic mushroom in the forest and was obviously hallucinating. <laughs> she spun out. She ran as fast as Usain Bolt in the 100 metre dash straight along the path all the way to her home. She was so excited to see Mum waiting for her after her journey in the forest. Big bench. <laughs> <laughs>